everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sean Miner. Um, so today we're going to have to talk about some baseball season for 2022. So, in case you guys didn't hear the news this earlier, um, the New York Mets has signed Max Scherzer to a three-year contract for the New York Mets. But now... Going on, Gary Sanchez possibly getting traded to go to Miami Marlins. But it's a possibility that the, the Gary Sanchez may get traded to the Miami Marlins. But they have to figure out who you're going to have for your backup catcher. And plus, you got to figure out who you're going to have your outfielder. For center field, now that um, Brett Gardner's a still free agent, but you still have first baseman still available. Um, do you, you sign? Do you keep Luke Voigt or do you resign Anthony Russo for your full time first baseman? Plus, Ruten Aldor is still free agent for the New York Yankees. But get this, the Yankees know what they did wrong to get rid of Rootin' on door because he had a three-year left on his contract with the New York Yankees. And that's when the Yankees got rid of, they got rid of Rootin' on door and says, for Simon, that's when the Yankees got rid of Rootin' on door because they want to use Gio or Shella on third base, but Gio or Shella can play third base, second base, shortstop, but the Yankees have not picked up a shortstop yet for next year, but but however, I think the Yankees need to do is they need to get rid of Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres did not deserve to be a shortstop, but um, John Heyman said there's a possibility that that Didi Gregorius could be coming back to the Yankees, but only depends how many years Didi Gregorius will stay with the Yankees. How many years? Um, I wish Didi Gregorius stays with the Yankees for maybe. Seven years or eight years with the Yankees because why don't you just send D.D. Gregorius to the Yankees and then you send Glaber Torres to the Philadelphia Phillies with a couple of former teammates like Nick Nelson and Danny Sands. They used to be teammates for the Scranton Rooksbury Will Whiters. They used to be teammates for them. But however, but Gary Sanchez may be going to might be going to Miami Marlins. And, of course, you know who, who's the owner of the Miami Marlins? Uh, the manager is? The owner is Baseball Hall of Famer Derek Jeter is the Miami Marlins owner. He owns the Miami Marlins. And he's got Jose Posada. He's got him there. But some things I do not figure out. But it's, if I have a, this is going to be, I have a little rant today about Kevin Cashman. Not, well, Kevin Cashman be the last one, but Brian Cashman is the first one I'm going to talk about. Brian Cashman needs to sign all the ones that have free agents. To resign, sign Brett Gardner another contract for another year. Plus, it's ridiculous that some of the baseball players are getting traded, and they had say Bruno Dor had a three-year contract with the Yankees, but now Bruno Dor is a free agent, and Clint Fraser is a free agent. What the heck are you thinking, Brian Cashman? Do you know what the heck you're doing to 
you Yankee fans, you're turning down, turning down your Yankees fans to get one of your best hitters. But however, the next one I want to talk about is Kevin Cashman for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's got Corey Kluber for a one-year deal. I'm like, why in the heck is Kevin Cashman needs to stick his nose into the Yankees' business to get Corey Kluber for one year? One year! Plus, why don't the Yankees go pick up Mike Talkman? Bring him back in pinstripes. And plus, why don't you have Mike Talkman and Mike Ford back to the team as the Yankees? Brian Cashman? But you just go out and do what you need to do. Is you just go to wait? And you're not going to sign no one as your shortstop? You said you want... Corey Seager and you want Carlos Correa, you want both? How's both shortstop Brian Cashman go to work? How are you going to have Corey Seager? How are you going to have Carlos Correa on the same team? One thing is, Brian Cashman, you know if you sign Carlos Correa, the Yankees... Fans are going to boo at Carlos Correa. And I, it's not going to be good if you sign Carlos Correa as your new shortstop. But I think my idea, Brian Cashman, you sign Corey Seager for a long contract. Instead of waiting, not pick up the pen, Brian Cashman, that's what you're not doing. You want to sign them. You just had them as a free agent. You have Brett Gardner as a free agent, and Runo Dorr and Clint Frazier. All the ones that were best hitters that are on the free agent market. What are you thinking, Brian Cashman? Really, this is really outrageous. But Brian Cashman doesn't care. He doesn't care about his New York Yankees. He just says, oh, look, I'm just getting rid of the best players. That's what he does. But get this. Aaron Boone, the Yankees manager, Skipper, signs a three-year contract with the New York Yankees. Aaron Boone signs a three-year contract with the Yankees as a manager, as a skipper. I tell you guys, this New York Yankees need to get things straightened out. Before 2022 starts. But if you guys like this video, smash the thumbs up. Um, leave, smash a lot of thumbs up and tell me what your idea is for the New York Yankees to what they should do with Gary Sanchez. Should they keep him? Or should they trade him to go to Miami Marlins? The second part is should they keep Glaber Torres? Keep him or send him down to the Philadelphia Phillies. Be teams with Nick Nelson and Danny Sands. Um, leave the comments down below the video. Smash that thumbs up. Let's smash the thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.